Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. So today we're in our MB339 and we're looking at air to ground and air to air gunnery. So select our plane to the armament. We can have gun pods on. We have no internal gun obviously. We have pods on three and four. Right click there, pods. We can have the gun pod, the ANM3, it's a half inch M3 machine gun, or the DEFA 553 30 mil auto cannon. So we're gonna have twin 30 mil cannons in this case. Okay, let's punch in and attack some ground targets. Okay, in the cockpit now, first we need to select our ordnance. So we've got guns on these pylons here. We're going to first turn the master arm on so it's up. We're going to select gun and gun. We can only fire at one if we want it, or we can fire both. So we're going to fire both because we can. There's nothing else we have to do on the armament panel. Next, we need to set our gun sight. This is a gyro-based gun sight here. So we turn it on with a right click there, let it warm up. Turn the brightness up to maximum because it is a really dark site and you'll need it up to maximum. Next we need to look at the reticles. We've got four different reticles we can choose from. To change them we press this guy here and to fire the guns we have this guy here, okay? So if we change the reticle, this is reticle one. This is for air to ground use and it is non-roll stabilized. So if you like it's caged to the aircraft. This is reticle 2. This is roll stabilized. So in terms of roll it's no longer caged to the aircraft which can be useful for situation awareness and aiming. 3 is the air to air 500 meter gun sight. So that's set up for 500 meters with a 10 meter wingspan from there to there which we'll look at in a bit. And number 4 is our 300 meter air to air which is set up as 8 meters wingspan. So if we go back to number 1 We'll just use this basic sight. Needless to say, in the center of our reticle is our aiming dot there. We're going to highlight over our target. For the profile of the dive, I always say come in from at least 5,000 feet AGL. We're well, well above 5,000 feet now. As per the user manual, it states the optimal dive for guns is 5 to 10 degrees. We can use our ADI here to find our dive. That is 0, 5, 10, 20, sorry, 10, 20, and 30 degrees. So we're going to be between kind of there and there be 5 to 15 in terms of speed generally speaking the faster we can get the better the safer will be from hostile fire within the structural limits obviously so let's go and give that a go I'm gonna unpause I'm just gonna test fire quickly to make sure everything's working it is right power on I um, need to head up a little bit just so our dive won't be too shallow neutralize our trim for the speed and find the target they're gonna be in the middle of that runway somewhere so the dive angle there is about 10 degrees, which is about perfect. I'm going to zoom right in here so we'll get maximum detail. Okay. Now I'm going to fire when I think I'm at a suitable range for a shot, and then we'll talk about it. So I'm going to take this guy to the north here, so I'm going to take a shot. And we see the bullets have fallen well short and they've exploded way before. So let's talk about that. And that's because I haven't adjusted for any lead. And there are two basic ways of doing that. One, I can range the target. Now, to do that, I would what I would do is I'll link up a diagram of the basic air-to-ground site here. And you can see the site at different points is measured in Miller dots. Miller dots allow us, through a basic conversion, to work out our slant range from us, our aircraft here to the target based on the size of the target and at which markers it meets in the gun sight. It's a basic way of ranging. Obviously, we don't have a radar, so we can't do radar ranging in this aircraft. Now, once we know that slant range, we can either aim above the target by a certain amount of millidots as a guide. So once we know we're at a certain range, we can adjust our aim in terms of millidots and fire like that. And that's one way of doing this. Now, I've absolutely no idea how to do that in this particular aircraft. Like I've got a video I've done using Miller dots in the Huey to do ranging. However, I haven't studied it in this aircraft and there's nothing about it in the manual. So I'm not going to go any further than that other than to say it is a method. So the other way of doing it and what I'd describe as a more conventional way of doing this is not the Miller dot ranging, but instead the uh, profile lookup table or a depression lookup table. Now, I don't have any of these. There's not any in the manual for this aircraft or this gun sight and I can't find any just generally on the internet for this aircraft or for this gun site. So I'd need you guys to let me have it, send it to me, and I'll link it up uh, with this video. And the way that works is you'd have a lookup table with columns for dive angle, dive speed, and fire altitude, ADL. And 
with certain combinations at the end of it you would have a depression that we would input into the aircraft so let's just take for instance on a look at table if we did a dive at 15 degrees and we a dive speed of 250 knots kias and a fire altitude of 2000 feet agl we would look up and we would get an amount of depression known as x we would then input that in our gun site here here is where we can change the depression in single units tens of units and hundreds of units to suit that lookup table. We would then fly that profile at 15 degrees dive using our ADI at 250 KIAS using our altimeter and 2000 feet AGL using our barometric setup correctly. And we would position the uh, reticle dot here directly on top of the target. And then all the maths is done for us in the lookup table. We just press the trigger and we know it will hit for that particular weapon. Like I said, we don't have access to either of those ways at the moment. So the only way we can do it at the moment is uh, adjust for lead by tracer. So we fire and we see where the uh, rounds are hitting and where our tracer is going and we adjust accordingly. We kind of strafe over the target. Very inaccurate and very wasteful, but that's just the way it is. Now, with the 30mm Defers, uh, these are fairly low-velocity guns, as far as I'm aware, so there's lots of dip and a lot of travel time, so it's quite hard to do. But anyway, let's go uh, carry on and see if we can get hit, maybe go around and try and get hit again. Here we go. Get close, but... Missed! No good. Up we go. Go around, let's go around. What we'll do is we'll attack downstream of the... Uh, the convoy this time. I didn't mention earlier then it's important to trim neutral when you're in your dive for your attack speed, for your on speed, and then maintain that speed, especially if you're using a lookup table. Okay, let's see if we can do a bit better this time. Try our reticles back in play. Zoom in. Right, we can't miss this time. So, what I'm going to do is just aim above our selected target. Let's see if we can watch the tracers falling. Oh, we've got one. Aha. So that's air-to-ground gun gunning as far as we, you know, have access to it at the moment. Next, we're going to do some air-to-air -air gunnery. Okay, we're in again. There's one of Matt Wagner's beloved F-16s ahead of me. Let's get everything set up on maximum brightness. We're going to go master arm on. Guns selected. And we're going to go through to reticle type 3. So let me just zoom in here two three so this is the 500 meter 10 meter wingspan so the idea is needless to say i get that f-16 which happens to be a 10 meter wingspan to fill this reticle perfectly and then i know that he's at 500 meters at which you know everything is automatically set up with the 30 mil gun which are primary air to air gun now he's being very kind he's not maneuvering if he was maneuvering we would have to add we would get inputs from our aircraft in terms of compensation but we wouldn't get any lead from his aircraft so we'd have to add our own lead for bullet drop based on his movements because obviously we've got no radar let's have a little pop i'm a bit of a crap gunner as you all know oh mr wagner I do apologize profusely and you can see it was you know pretty much bang on there um okay and just for the lols why don't we do it again at 300 meters zoom in two three four we're on type four now which is 300 meters set for nine meters wingspan i think it's near enough uh, so he's going to be awkward this time he does not like being shot down in this beloved new plane so we're going to have to work for it fancy f-16 is no match for my mb339 wait for it wait for it and go ah so crap got him woot woot oh how fun that's it um that's it really as so we looked at air to ground gunnery and the limits that we have at the moment lack of tables lack of milliliter understanding and how to use the guns in the air hope that helps see you later